today is gonna be really funny. <laughs> it's gonna be a riot, so hope you guys enjoy it. Hi everyone, it's Tiana. Thank you so much for joining me. It's Maniology Live Day. You guys have seen the viral videos of do French manicure hack where you just basically use a stamper and your polish and you just go bloop and there you go, you have a French manicure. Well, maybe it's not just one finger, you kind of go bloop, 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 bloop and just, there you go, you have a French. So, um, you know, these videos have been coming up on my Instagram, on my TikTok, I've seen them on Facebook, I've even seen conversations in our community and um, I cannot wait to do this with you guys because I've actually haven't tried this technique. I will be doing it for the very first time today and I'll be completely honest, I have some questions. Um, you know, I, as somebody who, you know, enjoys nails, I can see how it could work, but I got questions. So let's see, like I said, I have a few questions. So like say for example, when I'm watching people do the technique, I'm wondering how they're not ripping their stamper, especially because I'm seeing a lot of techniques using the clear stamper. Some of these, they look like they're pressing in like really hard into the stamper. But, you know, these stampers are durable, but you know, if you got really sharp nails and today I've actually have my nails done. Ooh, a little sparkly, but you know, I have square nails, so if they're sharp on your corners and stuff, you could really kind of puncture the stamper. Could be just me, but um, can you do this with both regular polish and gel polish? Like, does it work like that? Um, and then also, none of these videos want to show what the underside of your nail looks like, which I'm really, really curious about because, yeah, you know, the, the top part of your nail is gonna look nice, but what does the mess and stuff look like underneath your nail? So we can all discover this together. <laughs> and like I said, I haven't tried this technique on myself. I've just seen a lot of different videos. So um, today I decided that I'm gonna be using our uh, clear squishy stamper, the AKA our uh, shrinking stamper. And the reason for that is because um, it, it's a two-in-one. So it comes with this really squishy stamper piece here. And then also you, you get the clear large monocle st uh, style stamper. And honestly, I think with this technique, a stamper like this is a whole lot more durable. This is the part where uh, if you're using to like squish or shrink your stamper, this, um, is just really a durable silicone. Whereas the clear stamper is not, um, it's durable, but it, it can definitely rip and tear. So, and of course you wanna make sure you can still use this because you can see all your designs. And I have a few ideas, but let's just jump right into it. And I have a couple of videos on my phone from TikTok. And I'll just kind of, I need to watch it. We'll walk through it together and then I'll flip the camera over and then we'll get started. Trying out this little tool I've seen everywhere. Okay, so basically this video, this is from Bella, Bella Moore Beauty. Um, so basically they're pulling out a clear stamper. This happens to be a uh, rectangular stamper and they put white polish. So this one does not say even in the hashtags, whether it's gel or regular polish, it just shows white polish. And um, yeah, so they're just going in and pushing the, the nail into the clear stamper. Please, please, please. <gasps> oh my God! Trying out this- I won't lie, the outcome turns out really nice. Like it looks great, the outcome turns out beautiful. She top coats it and the manicure looks like you're ready to go after it's dried. So let's watch another one. It, this one is from Nails Cat Cat on TikTok. This one has like stiletto or almond style nails, which is pointy at the um, the edge. So. Is this easy? It took less than five minutes. Baby lime is such a beautiful color. I love the results. 
yeah, it looks really nice. And it ha they're using like a, a really like soft sea foam kind of green color too. Um, yeah, so the manicure looks perfect. So I want to see with you guys if we could actually do it. I got another one here at 747love8. I think this video has gone around a lot because I've seen it not only on TikTok, but other places as well, where basically, again, take the clear stamper, this one they have a round stamper, putting white polish. Don't know if it's gel or regular polish. Um, it just says hashtag nails. I thought that was actually kind of cool. That song is so, that little beat is so triggering. But okay, so let's get started. Um, I have a few colors to kind of play with, but today, because I have black nails, I figure white would probably be um, the easiest to see. So right here, I just have our Bam White Stamping Polish. So I've, used, I've seen the techniques and it looks like they, they're, you know, they put kind of a lot of polish on there. So I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, so I feel like there's a technique. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, so there you go. I wanted to do like a thin French to kind of see what this looks like. There is the underneath, so it looks like nothing came off underneath. And I think the reason for that, when I came in, I kind of came at an angle where it was like pushing the skin a little further down when I was pushing up against the stamper and then coming in like that and pushing down. So I don't think that didn't, I mean, clearly if you're looking at it, it didn't come off cleanly, but that was the first time. So let's try it again. I got other nails. Okay. So with your stamper, and that's actually a really good, um, I am using a sticky stamper station here to clean off the stamper head. Do not use acetone for this. If you don't have something like this, no problem, use scotch tape. Just regular old office tape. Don't worry about the brand, just use tape. We don't want to use acetone on here because you want to be able to still see through. Um, over time, if you continue to keep using that technique, you may just cloud out your stamper and then defeats the whole purpose of having a clear stamper. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm coming in. Okay, this one I did a bigger stamp. Ooh. Okay. So that has kind of like a weird film thing going on. Okay. But we're going to try this again. That's what the underneath looks like. Okay. Not bad. So I think I'm answering my own question. I when, you know, you see people doing the technique for the videos, again, it's, let me see if I can do it this way. I'm pushing down on my skin to make sure that that part's not going into the polish and then I'm pushing in like that. So I hope that's clear for you guys to see. So I'm pushing down this part of the skin. So, so far, not coming out like the videos, but I can see how the technique could work. Now I'm starting to wonder if this is like a gel polish kind of thing. I'm gonna try and use like another stamping polish and see what's going on. Okay. Hmm. Even though it goes all the way to the end, didn't cover. Okay. Huh. Okay. You know, just to make sure, I actually have some acetone here. And let me see. I'm going to put some just regular acetone 
over my next nail, my ring finger. And just rub it like that. And just make sure there's no oils. I just want to make sure there's no residue. Okay. So far though, my smile lines are coming out extremely straight. Which, to be honest, I'm not a fan. Um, I think it makes my, my nails look a little more boxy. Um, but let's see, I'm going back to the white here. Okay, the clean stamper. Okay, and let's do this. Going with the ring finger now. Okay, moved it around to kind of get more of that use smile line. Okay, smile line definitely looks better. It's not as straight. So I can see how shifting it over, like how I was doing, like, um, let's see, while it was like this, it's kind of shifting it from side to side to kind of give it that U. But still, the edges, for some reason, is not working. And I covered that with acetone. My main question about what the mess looks like underneath, I think the way you know this technique is working, you get, you know, your nails stay clean underneath, so no problem there. Ah, boy. Okay. Now, just because I'm gonna try and use this stamper, there's really no re reason that it has to be clear, so I'm gonna try this one. See how this works. Okay. I'm only gonna put a little bit because this is on my pinky now. There you go. So, unfortunately, I don't get the opacity of the polish, of this, especially because it's stamping polish. For some reason, those edges don't wanna come out. So now I'm really starting to wonder if it is just a gel thing. I think I've only, unless, all the videos that I've watched even if it was just in the hashtag, it says hashtag gel polish. Um, and if it didn't specify gel polish, it just didn't say anything. So, you know, it's kind of hard to know if it was gel polish or regular polish. Well, this is what we got so far. I mean, I do have another hand that I could try on. So let's just leave that and let's try again. Okay, so Nicole is saying, Let's try some more polish. Let's just get it on there. Or maybe it's because I'm not saying boop. I don't know. Is it my lack of boopage, people? Okay, let's try. Okay, smile line looks better. Got a little crazy on the end, so it got on my skin, no problem. But still, the edge is looking kind of not opaque. Looks more like an ombre. I guess if that's the style you're looking for. Let's continue to keep trying this. Okay, faster. So I just put the polish on there. Let's shift it around, get that smile line we want. There you go. Nope. Still coming out. I would say um, for each nail, I mean, I'm probably on it less than five seconds, really. So the polish that's sitting on here is still pretty tacky. I don't want to reuse it because we all know. I mean, I'm, I'm also working under different constraints than the average person. You know, I have studio lights plus the AC and all that kind of stuff, but still, you know, um, I'm really starting to wonder if this is a gel polish thing. Okay, I have another recommendation from Amy Lynn. She said, I would try regular polish and go straight down side to side. Okay. Before I do that though, I saw another suggestion 
to just fix the tip, just fix the tip. So let's try. Go in. Boop. Okay. I mean, I, I you know, for the second time, that looks better. For some reason, just doesn't want to go. Okay. I mean, that looks better. And I can just, you see how bumpy that edge is right there? I could just go in with like a top coat to kind of smooth that out, but just wanted to show that it kind of gets a little textured, you know, if you keep kind of looking like that. But top coat could definitely take care of that. Okay. I mean, that works if you do it multiple times. I'm just, so far it doesn't seem to be working like how the videos show. You know, like that one, it's only taken less than five minutes kind of look. So we'll keep trying and see. Let's try this technique with uh, the V, like the V style. So let me go in, boop, go in, boop, oops, oh gosh. I mean, that could have been cute. <laughs> But I mean, at least you get the shape, like that V um, French. So there you go. Ah, oh, man. I don't want to say disappointed, but. Okay, I have two other fingers. Let's not be disappointed. We still got to try, right? Okay. Pinky. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fast, fast, fast. Oh boy. Definitely like the shape. The boop. Mindy is saying the boop. There's there's a lack of boopage in my work. And maybe that's the reason why it doesn't work. I know, I think I'm in focus mode. Okay, so we got one more finger. Okay, Amber is saying, what about pushing, not pushing the nail into the stamper as hard? You know, I, I th there could be something to that, but I am so intrigued at the fact that these videos look like literally the nail is going in half into the stamper. It's crazy. Okay, so. Let's not push too hard and just go. Okay, there. Yeah, so there you go. That's what my nails look like after doing this technique. I mean, I don't expect you guys to be walking out of the house looking like this, but <laughs> All I can say is that I'm not saying it doesn't work. I can definitely see how you can get a quick French, but I think in the end, does it work? Not with regular polish. Um, and that also includes stamping polish. I feel like if regular polish, yeah. Give me some hearts for trying though. What do you guys think? If you give me um, some thumbs up, I think this is just a gel technique. Nothing's wrong with that. I, I love gel, but yeah, let me style it for you guys. Uh, yeah, okay. So I see a lot of people in agreement there that it's just regular polish just dries too fast. Same thing with stamping polish uh, for obvious reasons. Um, yep, gel, you can take your time, you can make that smile line however you want it, you can, you know, perfect it, move the polish around, um, but yeah, I, I don't think this is a regular polish kind of thing though. But I'm so glad that you guys were here and stayed with me to experiment through this. Um, this was super fun. I think basically answering the question, does it, does it work? 
yeah, n not, f not for me. So hopefully you can try, um, if you have gel at home, maybe you can try this technique. And, um, you know, I think the clear stamper in general, you know how like I was saying that <clears throat> I've seen people do it with, you know, square nails and um, almond stiletto style nails. I think as long as you're not going super deep into, like, okay, I think that's getting a little too crazy. You guys can see that. Don't do that. But um, as long as you're not doing that, the clear stamper should be durable enough to do that. But if you know you're just gonna go hard, I would say use the, the squishy stamper because you could really kind of do no wrong with this. I see, <laughs> I see comments um, that just stick to our French plate. And actually, I happen to have the French plate here. So this is our M052. If you're joining me for the first time, this is definitely a very popular plate that has like our French manicure um, that you can stamp these directly to your nail. Yeah, you'd probably get a, a little different result than what I got. But I appreciate you guys um, sticking around with me and experimenting with me today in my little nail lab. You know, this was the first video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it, that it was uh, entertaining to watch me go through this and kind of see if it works. So if you guys want to see more videos like that, definitely give me some thumbs up. We'd love to create more stuff like this for you. And I'll be going through the comments after this, but if not, stay safe, take care of you guys selves, and um, be kind. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.